column addition 2 with exchanging. In this nugget, the learning objective is to add three digit numbers using the column method. The calculations will also involve exchanging. It's quite difficult to add two three digit numbers together in your head. The column method makes things much easier. In this nugget, we'll recap the column method for addition without exchange, and then we'll use the column method with exchange. So first of all, let's recap. So we've got 341 add 213. All of the numbers have been lined up in the correct column. So we're going to add the numbers in each column together and we're going to write the answers between the lines. So starting with the ones, 1 add 3 is 4. Then we continue to add the tens. 4 tens add 1 ten equals 5 tens. And on to the hundreds. Three hundreds add two hundreds is five hundreds. So the answer is five hundred and fifty four. Now let's have a look at a slightly more challenging one. This example is going to use exchange. So five hundred and fifty two add two hundred and thirty nine. We set it out with the digits in the right column. Now we still always start with the ones. So we've got here 2 add 9. 2 add 9 is 11, but we can't put 11 ones in the ones column. So if there's more than 10, you need to exchange. To do this, you move the 10 into the tens column, and the 1 goes into the ones column. Now we move on to the tens. And when we're adding the numbers in the tens column, we need to make sure that we add the extra 10 that we've exchanged. So, 5, add 3, add 1, is 9. So we have 9 tens. Then we move on to the hundreds. 5, add 2, is 7. So our answer is 791. Now let's go through another example using some pictures to help us. So here we've got 239 and 112. The pictures represent these numbers. So the first thing that we're going to do is add the ones. 9 and 2 is 11. But we know that 11 is made up of 110 and 11. We can't have a 10 in the ones column, so we move it across. Then we only have 1, 1, and we've got the 1, 10 that we've exchanged. Now let's add the tens. So we've got 3, add 1, but we've also got another 1 that we've exchanged over from the ones. So 3, add 1, add 1, is 5. And then we add our hundreds. 200 add 100 is 300. So the answer is 351. Your turn now. Have a go at these calculations. Here's the method to help you if you need it and make use of the example. Pause the video and have a go. Let's look at the answers. So number one, the first thing that you needed to do was add the ones. Two add nine is 11. You can't put 11 in the ones column. So you put one, one in, and then you exchange the 10 ones for a 10, which goes in the tens column. Then you add all of the numbers in the tens. Four add one, add one is six. Then move on to the hundreds. 500 add 200 is 700. So your answer, 761. Well done if you got that correct. Number two. So starting with the ones again. Three add two is five. Seven add seven is 14. You can't put 14 in the tens column, so you put the four in, and then you exchange the one over to the hundreds. Then add up the hundreds. 5, add 1, add the 1 that you've exchanged, is 7. 
Well done if you got 745. So remember, when doing column addition, always start by adding the ones. And if you need to exchange, don't forget to add the extra one in the next column. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a like. And if you have any questions, leave a comment below. Subscribe to our channel to check out more of Century's content. And visit our website to find out about our learning platform.